I'm Timothy, your host for Precision Assistance. Today, we're going to assist you in installing a maintenance kit for the HP LaserJet 4250 and 4350. Now, at any point during this video, if you have any questions regarding this install, or if you'd like to purchase the kit and the tools that are required, please feel free to give us a call at 1-800-323-9523 or visit us online at precisionroller.com. Stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Precision Assistance. The HP LaserJet 4250 was introduced of October of 2004. Now, at some point, you must realize, why should I purchase a maintenance kit? Or when should I purchase a maintenance kit? Well, Hewlett Packer recommends the installation of a new maintenance kit for the HP LaserJet 4250 after every 225,000 pages printed. While this is a great recommendation, the time to install a new maintenance kit will vary depending on your printing conditions. Now, the HP LaserJet 4250 maintenance kit includes one fuser, one transfer roller, one plastic transfer roller tool, one pickup roller, and six rollers for all other trays. Please note, depending on which optional trays you have, you may not need all of the rollers. We are only going to use two of the rollers for this installation. The tools that are required for this installation are a pair of latex gloves, and a standard screwdriver. Turn the printer off and unplug the power cord. Caution! If you've been using the printer, the fuser section will be hot! Please wait 30 minutes before starting. Lift and pull to remove the optional duplexer if it is installed. Open the rear output bin, then use a standard screwdriver to remove the output bin by pushing on the left side of the hinge towards the right side of the printer until the hinge clears the mounting hole. Then remove the output bin from the printer. Next, removing the fuser. Pinch the two blue levers upward and pull the fuser straight out of the printer. Push the new fuser firmly into the printer until the blue levers on both sides click into place. Install the rear output bin. Insert the right hinge pin in the hole inside the chassis. Next. Push the left side of the output bin into the right side of the printer. Then close the rear output bin. Open the top cover and remove the printer cartridge. Use the plastic transfer roller tool, there's a hook end on there, to slightly lift the left end of the metal shaft upward. Then slide the transfer roller off to the left and remove it. Please note, when handling the replacement transfer roller, do not touch the black roller surface. Handle the transfer roller by the ends or use latex gloves. Now rotate the black plastic collar on the gear end so the open end faces down and then install the new transfer roller by sliding the right side into place and then snap the left side with the gear into place. Remove the front accessory cover. Locate the pickup roller at the center of the tray. Release the roller by sliding apart the two latches located on each side at the top of the pickup roller. You need to do this at the same time. Then lift the roller out of the opening. Slide the new roller into the printer until the roller snaps into place. Insert the front accessory cover. 
Install the toner cartridge and then close the tray one and the top cover. Remove the tray two from the printer, then locate the feed roller located inside the cavity of tray two. Remove the feed roller by pinching the blue lock tab on the roller, then slide the roller off the left end of the shaft. Slide the new feed roller into the shaft and rotate the roller until it locks into place. Reinstall the tray 2 bin and leave it halfway out to allow for access to the separation roller. Find the cover that is located on the tray and swing it upward. Remove the roller by pinching the blue lock tab and sliding it off the end of the shaft. Slide the new feed roller into the shaft. It is important that the roller locks into place. Then close the tray 2. Plug the power cord into the printer and turn the printer on. Press and hold down the check mark button until all three control panel lights turn on and remain on. Press the up arrow until the new maintenance kit message appears on the display and then press the check mark button. Thanks for watching this instructional video on how to install a maintenance kit for the HP LaserJet 4250 and 4350. The tools that are required and the maintenance kit are available through PrecisionRoller.com. There's a link inside the description of this video if you would like to purchase this kit or to visit our website. I'm Timothy for Precision Assistance and you've just been assisted. Precision Assistance.